God! It's He's scared so loud. It's, it's, it's super loud. The beeping. <laughs> Come on, you got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Yo. Hey, uh, we were gonna leave. We were actually going to go to work, then finish up my work nice and quick, and we're gonna be heading to North Dakota by now. But it is now 1026. Oh, 1026. And we have not left to work even because the keys for the rental car have gone missing. Bum bum bum. So now we uh, suspect that they're locked in the truck <laughs> isaac's fault 100 percent. no i wasn't even here when you locked them <laughs> so now we're brainstorming a bunch of ideas to try to shimmy open and then try to open the trunk through the window so you'll see what happens next let's go yeah update guys none of our strategies worked and now we are purging the house to make sure Tyler didn't leave him somehow in any part of his house. Otherwise, we're, we're screwed. What's up, sports? Yo. So you remember how last night when I locked the keys in the trunk and, uh, well, a guy did come out this morning. He got the trunk or he got the door open and we went to bed probably at like Probably around four I went to bed and like five in the morning, the guy came out, opened the door, the alarm was going off, beep, 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 slept for one hour, got woke up by the alarm. Uh, the door is open. We can open the door, every single door. We can open the hood, but the trunk cannot be opened. The keys are in the trunk. There's no way in the trunk and you can't open the trunk. Yeah, the only way in the trunk is by releasing the seats, which is only accessible from the trunk. <laughs> Toyota. This is a call out. Please make it easier to get in the trunk. I don't know how important something in the trunk is if they can get into everywhere else in the car. But yeah, so <sighs> rental car companies suck. So we're trying to avoid having to call them for help because they'll charge us a million dollars. And we're gonna try to call Toyota and hopefully they can find a way to get in whether they can like bloop, bloop, bloop and open it or Whatever, we'll see what we can do. We're gonna leave yesterday at about 10.30. It's the next day at eight in the morning. So we are way, 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 way behind. So we might have to cut out, might have to cut out South Dakota completely from our adventure, but we've been there before. Update, it is now 11.18. Basically been up for 12 hours straight since last night around more than 12 hours, at least at least 15 hours straight dealing with this car. As you can see, oh my gosh, we went outside and it just fogged up everything. What the nuts? It's so humid out. Look at Loki. Hi, Loki. You go puppy. Oh my gosh, it's so humid out. I walked out, instantly moisturized the whole thing. Yeah. What the nuts? It still is. It's fogging it up. It's like a lake out here. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. We went to the Toyota dealership all the way in Coon Rapids, which is like a hike for us. We called Budget this morning, called Toyota. We went there. Then they were like, oh, you have to call Budget, which is our rental company. So we did it. And then we waited on hold for like half an hour. Then they went in. They made us a spare key that opens the trunk. For a hundred dollar dude a hundred dollars and now it's in here we go yeah ah, yes wait where is it no. right here no. yes <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> that wasted 15 hours at least of our time for this So like freaking jammed. Oh yeah, just open the other one. Now we won't be able to drive it. This one doesn't have a thing on it. Wait, I have the beeper. It's not. It oh yeah, it's not on. Oh, okay, we undid the battery because it was honking. All right, so we have the battery unplugged. So whenever we, as soon as we touch the battery, 
to like turn it on, it's gonna start beeping at us, and the only Wait, way to turn it off. Will execute me if you try to turn it on when I'm touching the battery? I won't. Okay. Just tell me, just back up once you got it. Oh God! It's He's scared because so it's the, it's super loud. The beeping scared the crap out of me. Come on, you got it. So you got scared. it. I don't like that. It's like when you pop a balloon. Yeah. So this is a thousand times louder. Lily, stand back, girl. Are you supposed to even turn the car on with the hood popped? Huh? Are you even supposed to turn that on with the hood popped? No, 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 no. What you're driving. You're supposed to what? Are you even supposed to turn it on with the hood popped? Probably not. Well, if you jump start it, I guess it's open. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Alright, you got this. <laughs> oh god, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I don't like it. He's doing it. Oh god. Oh yeah, how do you get this thing out? Okay, I got it. Alright, we got it. Alright, so let's be on. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm still recording. Hey guys. What up? Oh. Look at us. We're zooming. Look at this scenery. Wow. On the road, we just saw a sign. Our like, It's not really a stop, but it's like our first marker is Fargo. 192 miles of deliciousness. But we got everything settled. We're in the car. We're moving. First stop is Theodore Roosevelt National Park, but we're probably not going to get there until around seven o'clock. So we're, we'll see if we can even do anything there today. Might have to camp in the grasslands. Yeah, there's like a grassland around it. At least I'm pretty sure that we can camp at. We're going to set up our tent there and get going. We're probably going to stop, get some food here and let's zoom it. Fargo, Minnesota, I mean, Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, yeah, don't you know? Hey, there, has there been a murder up here in the snow? I don't see any snow up here. Hey, welcome to Fargo, North Dakota. Matthew McConaughey. That's how she, Matthew McConaughey. We're in the Grand Four. I mean, North Dakota. I mean, Fargo. Yeah. Just, sorry, this vlog is just all over the place so far. It's a pretty epic first day. I mean, day. that's how our vacation has started, all over the place. Yes. We're in Fargo. The scenery is exactly what you would think of it flat do you see a single hill anywhere we're kind of going up a slight one right now oh man i fell asleep for like an hour but isaac's driving like a champ dude he actually fell asleep too he was I just did. letting the autopilot go even though it oh. doesn't work like wait that. we can go to sioux falls from here wow why don't we just do that yeah. wow look at fargo wow they have roads and Bridges and buildings. This looks like uh, Lubbock, Texas, kind of actually. Lubbock, Texas is like a big city, but it's like like oh, population-wise. No, you ran over something. It was an animal. But like, it was like super spread out like this. But it had a, like a big population city. How big is the population of Fargo? I don't know. Well, let's find out. We probably should get gasoline. Here we go. What's the Fargo pop? 124k. Jeez. That's pretty big, bro. It's like Lubbock, Texas. All right, our next place we'll be going to of any uh, note is Bismarck. Gotta eat a Bismarck and Bismarck. Say you want a Bismarck and Bismarck. Oh, I'll have a Bismarck and Bismarck. Say it exciting. Oh. I want a Bismarck and Bismarck. Oh my. Is it, oh, is that a casino? Can't even see. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the poppies. Can you guys see them? I don't think so. I am poppy. I am poppy. Look at how yellow it is. We're almost to Bismarck. Yes, we're driving. We're almost to Bismarck, like 20 miles ish. Um, I'd say about yeah. Last last sign was uh, 48, I think. This is gonna be. This has been an epic vlog so far. I know. Keep your. I mean, we started in North Dakota, so there isn't much anyway. Yeah, North Dakota, greatest state of all time. Started with uh, car problems. 
and North Dakota driving. My bug bites are getting so large, I don't know why. He's getting I erect by bugs and they swell up like watermelons. Yeah, mine swell super huge, but then they go away after a bit. Doesn't have Viking blood. Well, I just wanted to show you guys the poppies that you can probably barely see. This is our scenery currently. Yeah, we're getting blocked by a truck. We'll be in Bismarck soon, and then... We will continue. We got a lot of driving ahead. Yeah, we're probably gonna get a hotel. Wow, you don't want to sleep in the poppies? <laughs> I mean, we can. Yeah.